this is Dr. Binning, uh, just giving you a quick instructional video on how to do a bacterial overgrowth sample collection. Um, this test can be a little bit confusing, so I hope this video um, makes this collection a little bit easier. Before I get into how to actually do the test collection, I want to go over some things that you have to consider before you do the test. Um, and basically what you wanted, if, you've, if you have an acute infection or a um, viral illness or anything like that, you shouldn't do this collection until you're feeling better. Um, and you want to wait at least four weeks from the time of doing a colonoscopy or a barium enema to do this test. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're on antibiotics or antifungals or Pepto-Bismol, you also want to wait at least two weeks from your last dose before you do this test. Um, if you smoke, you can't smoke for at least an hour before you start this test. And you cannot go to sleep or do any exercise um, at least an hour before you do this test. <clears throat> now, you, there is a fasting component to this test. So 12 hours before you fast, uh, sorry, 12 hours before you do this test, you must do a fast. And that means only drinking water. And then the day prior to that, you have to restrict your, your diet. Okay. So when you restrict your diet, okay, the day before your test, what you need to do is on your collection kit in the instruction manual, there is a list of foods. And basically the foods that you can have are limited to baked or broiled chicken, fish or turkey, only seasoned with salt or pepper, um, white bread, eggs, plain steamed white rice, clear chicken, or beef broth with no vegetable pieces inside it. Um, and that's, again, the day before, and then 12 hours before you start the test, you, you must fast. So only uh, drink water and no consumption of food. Okay? Now when you get actually down to the test, you'll open this bag, and in there you'll find six tubes. Okay? They're long plastic tubes with a lid that screws off. And at no time in this test, you ever take the lid off the tubes. The lids always stay on the tube, so don't make that mistake. The first thing I would do is write your name, um, the date of the collection, and the number of the tube which you used. So, like I said, there's six tubes numbered from one to six, and what that corresponds to is which number, uh, which test was first. So the first tube you use will be numbered one, and the second tube two, and so on and so on. Now, your first test will be a baseline measurement. And in this test kit here, there's a mouthpiece, and it's got a, on the side of the mouthpiece, there's a, an attachment where these tubes will slide into at, when you use them. There's also a bag attached to the mouthpiece. So the first test works like this. You put the mouthpiece, you, what you'll do is you take the mouthpiece in one hand and you take one of the tubes in the opposite hand. And now breathing in normally, you inhale for five seconds and then you close your mouth tightly over the mouthpiece and you exhale at a normal breath. So you don't force the air out, you do not blow hard, you just exhale. And this bag on the end will fill. When it's fully filled, then you'll take the tube in your hand, the, sample collection tube and slide it in there's a tube attached where the tube will uh, the collection tube goes into and there's a needle in there so you'll slide it in that compartment pierce the top over the needle and let it fill for two seconds after two seconds you remove the sample collection tube and place it to the side so that one the first one should have a number one now every test every collection for the, each tube will be the same except for the next one the only difference is before you do that breath sample collection, you drink this solution in this box here. And it's a lactulose solution. You mix it with eight ounces of water and you drink that. And then you start um, the collection of the next tube. And that would be 20 minutes after you drink the lactulose solution. And again, the collection process is exactly the same for every tube. It's just for this specific one, the second one, you have to drink this and then 20 minutes after you do the second tube, after you drink the lactulose. Then 40 minutes after that tube, you do the third one, and so on and so on. There's a total time schedule breakdown on the um, instructions, and you just follow that timeline and until you're done all six tubes. 
When you're done all six tubes, make sure they're labeled. Um, the numbers are on them and your name's on them. Put them into the shipping pa uh, pages, um, envelopes that are in the box and ship out the kit either that day or the next day because it has to rece be received at the lab within eight days of you doing the sample collection. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that um, clears some of the confusion around doing a bacterial overgrowth breath test. Um, and good luck.